Welcome back to Training Camp Daily, everybody, here on Sports Time Ohio. Jim Donovan along with Browns quarterback Brady Quinn. This is special. Two great former Notre Dame quarterbacks now appearing on the same show. Me as a make-believe out in my driveway <laughs> as a kid, and I understand you were the real deal. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, I guess. <laughs> you lived the dream, though. You lived I the did. dream that a lot of kids lived. I did. I had the opportunity to you know, play for the Fighting Irish, and uh, it was something that I dreamed about as a young child, and fortunately, I had the opportunity to live that out. Okay, but let's move now to what's going on here. Tell me this as you go into preseason game number two, Saturday night at home, and what do you want to build off personally after the Green Bay game? Uh, you know, again, become more efficient. I think one of the keys for me it was, uh, you know, red zone. You know, really becoming more efficient there. You know, we had a couple opportunities. We didn't really uh, do anything with them. And uh, you always want to come away with at least three points, if not a touchdown, when you're in the red zone. Well, I know you got to get it in there, and uh, but you were right there. I mean, you moved that first drive right down there. Uh, the third down play doesn't go, and you, the field goal comes off the boards. And then right at the end of the half, everything very, very good right down to the end. But unfortunately, we remember the end. Yeah, again, I, th I think the key word there is just finish. You know, we got to do a better job as an offense finishing there when we get those drives down near the red zone. Brady, what is, uh, is this offense, the new offense that is in this year, dramatically different? When it's all put together and, and supposedly when we see it against Minnesota, will it be dramatically different from last year? I don't know. I don't want to go and, you know, try to compare offenses. Mm -hmm. You know, I think every offense is, there's always some similarities, et cetera. Uh, but again, this is a new offense. It's, we've got, a, you know, a new team, new offense, uh, you know, a staff. And etc. And you know we're working right now is to continue to get better and better each day at it, and uh, you know become more familiar with everyone. When you went into the off season last year, did you realize that? Uh, did you put extra special work coming into into this uh, training camp? You had to get your finger healed and get that ready to go. Did you do anything extra special though? Um, I mean, obviously it was a little bit different for me. I've never really had an injury like that before, so I wanted to, you know, rehab, make sure as, as funny as well as my finger, my grip was back, uh, and I was throwing uh, the same way I had, had been before. Outside of that, um, you know, I, I made sure that I was practicing in a little, little warmer climate before I camp just to prepare myself, prepare my body uh, to make sure I was ready coming into camp this season. Okay, this has been a tough camp. Everyone says it's been a grueling camp, a tough camp. For the quarterbacks too? Uh, I'd say so, though. I mean, I'm not. I'm not ever going to complain. I'm a quarterback, and uh, we don't have to do half of anything. You know, everyone else does as far as hitting and running as much. Um, you know, but again, it's it's more of a mental strain for us, and we work our hard and do our best to uh, you know keep up, and make the right decisions out there. When you're involved in the kind of situation you're involved in right now, and you're fighting for the starting job with Derek, and 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 of course uh, Brett Ratliff is there, and Richard Bartel. But I mean, is it more what we're making of it, and less uh, in your room with with the people that you're competing against? Yeah, I mean, obviously <laughs> that's that's part of the uh, job of the media is to you know make a story out of things, and um, you know we don't. Blame before it, but uh, when it comes down to it, you know, each guy's going to try to get better and play his game and play the best of his ability. And in the end, it comes down to what the coaches decide, uh, not necessarily what we do. So uh, we're, we're going to go out there and do the best we can and um, let the coaches figure that one out. You know, you just mentioned uh, to the group of the media uh, before you came over and talked with us that when you talk about young receivers or young players, but specifically the question was asked about young receivers, that they you can sometimes make things even a little bit tighter and bigger than they than they really are. So for Rubisky and Massaquan, maybe some of the younger players, maybe they are doing that. Of course, you're not that far separated from that. No, not at all. I'm still a young guy, and uh, that's why I feel like I can relate to them and, and kind of help them out or lend them a hand here and there. Uh, but again, I just try to keep them loose out there. You know, uh, hopefully not thinking too much. They're great players. That's what got them here, and uh, I just want them to continue to play the game that they've always played. All right. Well, Brady, we look forward to Saturday night. It would be good to get back home, and I know these fans would love to see a win. I know it's a preseason game, but they would love to see some touchdowns and a win. Hey, we do too. I promise you that. So uh, we're looking forward to it. It should be a great challenge for us, and uh, you know we're, we're doing our best out here to get ready for it. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. And the rest of the way. Brady Quinn joining us on Training Camp Daily. Back to wrap up the show after this timeout.